Hey, what's going on guys? So, 6.21 just dropped last night, aka October 31st, aka Halloween. Um, so with that, we got a whole new week of weekly store items, plus a new hero in the event store. Uh, so this week's gonna go through October 31st through November 7th? 7th. 6th. 7th. 7 days. <laughs> um, so in the weekly store, we got Brawler Luna. Which is uh, one of my favorite favorite damage dealing ninjas. Um, it can kill everything, miss monsters, everything. Whereas other ninjas specialize in maybe just fodder clearing. Um, but so Brawler is Brawler's cool. We'll go over have her later. I wish there'd be a, a male version of Brawler. I'm not a big fan of the female ninjas. I don't know why. I just don't like the little stringy cape thing that they have. But you got Brawler Luna in the storm. You get the Copper Templar. You can evolve that into the bear. Um, which the bear is super good. The Wrecking Bar, you can turn into Mr. Red if you evolve it to Legendary. Both are super good items. The Crowbar is good, so is the Shotgun, even at Epic Rarity. You got your Survivors, your normal Evolution Materials, the normal Fluxes. We still get uh, Rare and Uncommon perk up, plus the standard Re-perk. I've already purchased it. Uh, your standard Armory slots. In the Weekly Items, we got a Healing Pad. For those of you that want to throw away a bunch of uh, um, herbs, uh, healing pads are good though. Healing pads are good. I like campfires more than healing pads, but healing pads are good. So that's a solid buy if you don't have healing pads yet, a legendary one. And then uh, the Night Claw is also a super good shotgun. If you want to do some big number hitting damage numbers, big number damage this is a good shotgun. Um, I wouldn't say it's a good overall shotgun, but if you want to, if you want to have like a mist monster killer, this is a, this is a good shotgun for that. Um, I still think that if you're using a shotgun based class, you should probably have at least a long arm enforcer or the deconstructor as your kind of all around shotgun, and then you can have like an AOE or a DPS style. But this guy is uh, one of the hard hitters. Uh, the bear is also really good for big numbers. Um, I feel like the night cloud class is the bear though. That's just me. It's just me. I like both a lot. I like both a lot. And then we also have enforcer at uncommon. Um, Enforcer is probably my favorite Outlander. Uh, just a Teddy. He's the hands down the Teddy specialist. For those of you that love Teddy, you can evolve him to rare, epic, and legendary. You need him to be at least epic to utilize Enforcer to their full potential. And then legendary if you want even more ability damage. And since he's Teddy specialist, it's an ability, you want him to be legendary. And then in the event store, we got Dim Mac Igor, which is uh, a reskin of Dimmac Mario. Now we have a male ninja for the Dimmac class. I still want that male brawler. Um, it's pretty cool looking. I guess he's in, in BR. I somehow missed the day they had this in the BR shop because I didn't even know this existed in the game yet until now. So, ninja. Ninja. Dimmac. We'll go ahead and break it down really quick for Dimmac. Uh, Shinobi reduces fall damage taken by 10%, increases run speed by 10%, like all ninjas. This ninja gets Smoke Bomb, Dragon Slash, and Throwing Stars. I think this ninja is uh, all Smoke Bomb based, though. I don't think anything else gets buffed. I think it's 100% Smoke Bomb. A ninja who uses Smoke Bomb and Shadow Stance to survive on the battlefield. Now, to my knowledge... Uh, Dim Mac is one of the highest survivability or tankiest ninjas. So for those of you that like attack speed and have the mentality of jumping into a fight as a ninja and going, just throwing hands back and forth, uh, this would be the ninja to do that because it's tanky. So I'm not sure though. I haven't really, I, I haven't really played Dim Mac surprisingly. Uh, actually, I really, I don't think I've ever played Dim Mac. Level 2, you get Mantis Sleep. That's standard for ninjas. That's your double jump. Level 5, you get Utility Belt. Reduces the cooldown of Smoke Bomb by 25 seconds. Deep Pockets reduces the energy cost of Smoke Bomb by 15. You get Throwing Stars. Level 12, you get Shadow Stance after defeating an enemy with Melee Weapon or Edged Damage. So your Dragon Slash will also proc your Shadow Stance. The ninja enters a... Shadow Stance for 4 seconds during Shadow Stance. Damage resistance is increased by 15%. Mantis Leaps are cheaper. Um, and you also have less aggro because you're more difficult to see. Um, defeating. Okay, so you do. I wanted to make sure that you have to kill it. You can't just hit it. You have to kill it with a sword or a melee weapon of any sort. And uh, edged weapon damage. Level 15, you get up in smoke. After using smoke bomb, it increases movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. So this was something we figured out last night where everybody was talking about how this could potentially be one of the fastest characters in the game also. So ninjas are already 10% faster. When 
you use your smoke bomb, you get a speed boost for 50%. So now you're at 60% speed bonus. If you slot um, the mythic outlander, face scout Jess, you get 20% um, speed bonus also. So then you're at, <laughs> you're at 80% speed. You're almost double speed. That's crazy. Um, I think the the sneaky sneaky perk from face scout isn't permanent though. I think it's um, it's for five seconds under some kind of condition. I can't remember what it is. Uh, level 18, now you see me, the ninja uses the distracting effects of smoke bomb to enter shadow stance. So you enter shadow stance when you throw a smoke bomb. Okay. Dragon slash, uh, 25 dim uh, shadow stance continuously, continually, recharges the ninja's shield at 20% of its usual rate. Level 30, you get extra long fuse, increases the duration of smoke bomb's persistence cloud by 5 seconds. Okay, so it literally is 100% all cloud-based, or smoke bomb-based. Um, so you're, you're shadow stancing and, and smoke bombs. Oh, but you can't heal in your smoke bomb, like some of the other heroes that use smoke bomb. That would've been cool if you could heal too. That'd be so strong. This character would just be, this would be the tank. It'd be the tank. What does he bring to the table? Quick shield, reduces shield regeneration delay by 10%. Okay. So, that still doesn't make other shield bearer users the same. Um, it just reduces the regeneration delay by 10%. That'll probably grow to 20% when you get to the 3 star 30. Brawler is a skilled melee fighter who uses quick crescent kicks to stun enemies before cutting them down. Before cutting them down. This character can dish out some serious numbers, man. Serious numbers. Again, it's not a it's not a typical Harvester ninja. For those of you that played Harvester, Harvester is like the urban assault of the ninjas. You literally have to go around and uh, you just literally this is how you play Harvester and Urban Assault. That's it. That's it. You pull the trigger and and you're at same thing with a ranger. It's just over the top serious damage output. They're kind of mistakes in my opinion. Now you guys are gonna go down. No, they're perfectly balanced. Whatever, dude. So, but Brawler requires a little bit of a setup. Um, and I'll get into it. I'll explain it here in a second. Shinobi, again, fall damage, uh, sprint and run speed by 10%, all ninjas. Uh, Brawler gets Crescent Kick, Dragon Slash, and Smoke Bomb. Mantis Sleep with Double Jump. Uh, level 5, you get Kickback. Reduces the energy cost of Crescent Kick by 14. Level 8, you get 5 wins cut. So this is just a flat damage increase to Swords, Axes, and Scythes. Um, why no spears? I don't know. I don't know. But swords, axes, and scythes. It should just be 24% damage to edged weapons, honestly. Um, level 12, you get kicking and screaming. So crescent kick applies vulnerability to affected enemies. Increases damage taken from all sources by 40% on the target for 4 seconds. So vulnerability is the same thing that debilitating shots causes. But you just kick them once and it's 40%, okay? 40% increase for 4 seconds after you kick him. Then at uh, level 15 you get assassination. So this is your stackable. This is the debilitating shots for the ninja. Um, dealing sword damage. So you have to use swords, which is weird. Because then you get up here. You have, you have, hey, you can play with axes and scythes. Oh, but if you want to use this perk, then no. You can't use axes or scythes. You have to use swords. It needs to be edged weapon. Assassination. Dealing sword damage grants one stack of assassination. Increasing the damage dealt by swords by 5%, lasts 5 seconds, and stacks up 5 times. So you can get an additional 25% by continuously attacking your targets, okay? It doesn't stack vulnerability like debilitating shots. This one is more of a selfish buff for the ninja himself or herself. When you hit somebody with assassination, you start to get a glowy beam of light that goes around your arm, your forearm, and then um, when you have that beam, that means that you do that damage. So you could hit this target five times, turn around and smack this target, and you're doing your 25% still. As long as you stay in combat and don't... If, you have to hit something every five seconds. Otherwise, it'll dissipate and you have to start your stacks over again. So you can get up to 25%. You can kick something and cause 40% extra. You're doing 24 already by default with five wins cut. So what is that? You're at 24, 25, so you're at 49 plus another 40. That's 89% uh, um, extra damage. 89%. Just from the hero perks. Quick Kick reduces the cooldown of Crescent Kick by 4 seconds. Pain Mastery Assassination Stacks now grant a 3, grant a three bonus per stack to Crit Rating with Edged Melee Weapons. 
So you're going to get uh, 3 times 5, so 15 crit rating while you're at 5 stacks. 15 extra crit rating, which is good, because now you're going to be critting all the time. Hot Feet at level 30 converts Crescent Kick to energy damage and increases base damage by 100%. So it doubles the damage, and now it's energy for doing extra damage to the um, elemental husks. So you do a tremendous amount of damage with Crescent Kick. You're stunning, you're kicking, you're stacking damage. You're just awesome. I love this character. Brawler is a super fun time. But again, you have to set up, you have to have your assassination stacks, you have to kick, and then you go in and you just obliterate. I also run crit builds on my swords and run corrosion from Deadly Blade Ninja in my tactical so that my critical hits and my critical damage do a big... Uh, dot damage, damage over time effect also. So I'm also just rolling in dots as I'm slaughtering. It's awesome. It's a good time. Keen Edge is the support bonus. Increases Sword Axe Scythe critical damage by 35%. Um, that goes up to 72, I believe, at 3-star evolution. So, um... If you don't want to play as Brawler Luna, but you want to play with somebody else that uses a Sword, Axe, or Scythe, this is also worth picking up just for the support bonus. That's crit damage. It's a crit, crit damage buff. Uh, it should be 72% um, when it's all said and done, when it's evolved and leveled up. All right, Enforcer Grizzly is basically, like I said, the Teddy Outlander. Teddy Outlander. The, the Teddy Outlander. Um, an Outlander with the powerful upgraded Teddy. To the point. To the point. Focused Acquisition, which increases the chance to find double loot by 6%. Again, standard Outlander. You get Anti-Material Charge. You're an Outlander, so every Outlander gets Loot Llamas. You get Teddy and Phase Shift. Level 5, you get Bear With Me. Increases the duration of Teddy by 5 seconds. Shield Boost increases your maximum shield by 20%. Level 12, you get Overbearing. Increases the range of Teddy's attack by 4 tiles. That's a long distance. The thing snipes. Level 15, Phase Shield. Phase Shift forces the shield to regenerate for 2 seconds. Your shield will regenerate even if you continue to take damage, but it will only regenerate at 20% of the regular rate. So you can force your Phase Shield. Barricade. Enemies damaged by Teddy have movement and attack speed slowed by 30% for 6 seconds. So this is good for snaring targets. Um, it's If we could focus fire, like Tara, tell, tell, blah, 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 tell the Teddy which target to focus, like maybe a Smasher, it would be even more powerful, but it does. It snares everything. Um, all the other targets pretty much die pretty quickly anyway, so uh, the bigger targets like Smashers and Fatties, um, it will eventually get to after it clears out the fodder. Slows it down. The other cool thing that everybody overlooks about this is that it slows their attack speed down. Now, when you have a, a child or a skinny on your, your, your base's walls, your structure, and they're beating on it, they really don't do any damage to your walls anyways. They could beat on them forever before the wall actually comes down. But a fatty is technically a siege uh, husk, and a lot of people overlook that. They can literally, like, two, three shot some of the walls, unless you have them level three, like metal and stuff. But they can do serious damage to your walls. That's what they're for. They're for to take down your walls. So this slows their attack speed down. So you can get to that wall quicker, you can heal it, you can pick them off the wall. So the attack speed is also really good. And then at 3 star you get in the zone, because he's a farmer. I wish some outliners wouldn't get this, but I think they all get it. After 5 hits in a row with your pickaxe, you gain in the zone, which increases your pickaxe damage by 24%. So this helps for taking out the loot llamas. Um, this helps you get that one extra hit on your, or the one less hit when you're farming cars and other things. It just makes your pickaxe stronger, but you have to stay in the zone. If you switch to a weapon, it disappears. Level 25, you get upgraded bearings. Increases Teddy's rate of fire by 50%. So the Teddy lasts five seconds longer. It shoots four tiles farther. It snares. Um, it reduces their attack speed. It increases the rate of fire by 50%, not 100, so it's not doing double the DPS, but it's a 50% it's a, a increase. And then at level 30, you get Bear Zerker, which increases the damage dealt by Teddy by 25% and adds another 5 seconds. So the Teddy lasts an additional 10 seconds. You're doing 25% damage. You're shooting 50% faster. It's cool. The Teddy is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Had to keep it PG. YouTube. PG. Another word was going to come out of my mouth. Bonuses. Bonuses. He brings shield into the table to so support bonus increases your maximum shield by 20%. Support bonuses are applied to your primary hero in this hero's new support slot. So that's it. That's it. You get your standard items like always. Healing pads. Nightclaw. Enforcer. Brawler. Dim Mac. The reskin was added to the event store. And then the same stuff from earlier last week.
So just as a friendly reminder, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Gumby from the hours of 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Feel free to swing by. We um, It's a cool place. It's a cool place. If you don't know what Twitch is, it's just live streaming. There's active chat. Um, my channel focuses more on interaction than game, but you can find gameplay anywhere, right? Um, I'm not very sweaty. We do a lot of testing. Um, sometimes I feel like a broken record. I mean, 440 plus days played, and we have lots of new players constantly coming and going, especially with the new sale. But um, it's a cool place. You should definitely check it out. I do want to warn you, it's not PG. I keep my YouTube semi-PG. The Twitch is... <laughs> It's definitely R, if not worse. If it's not worse. So if you're an adult and you're up late, um, I definitely recommend hanging out, coming by, swinging, swinging by, checking it out. Swinging. Let's swing. Anyway, with that, I'm out. I'm going to go play some more. Got to grind out some more gold. Clearly, I have gold issues. I have gold issues. I don't play enough. I don't play enough. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.